Now, I don't know about you, but it's that time of year where I have a heck of a time managing the fit of my prosthetic leg. Um, you know, the holidays, um, I'm spending a lot more time sitting at a table eating instead of being outside and riding my skateboard or going to the gym. So typically at this time of year, I tend to see some differences in the way my leg fits. Keep in mind, the weather's also changing, so I'm fattening up for the winter, if you will. So again, um, my leg hasn't been fitting right lately. So today what we want to do is just talk a little bit about sock management or how to pay attention to your residual limb and how to manage those volume fluctuations. This is a pretty basic chat. Um, hopefully everybody can take a little bit of information out of this. So um, the things that I really want to touch on are the difference between bottoming out and hammocking. These are two very, very different things and often mistaken. So essentially, you know, when you're talking to an amputee and they say, oh, I'm feeling some pain at the very bottom or the very end of my limb. Oh, you're bottoming out, go add socks. That may not be the case. You might not be bottoming out. If you have bottomed out before, you know what it feels like. Sharp pain, feeling like you're standing on a bone or standing on a nerve. Your first inclination is, I guess I need to go and add a sock to help fill out that volume and bring myself up so I don't drop too far down into the socket. Um, a lot of times what happens though is if somebody feels a little discomfort or a little pain down at the distal end of their residual limb, they assume they're bottoming out so they start adding socks until they feel like the pain is going away. But the problem is you may not have been bottoming out. You could have been hammocking, which is the exact opposite you might be wearing too many socks. The, re the reason this is tricky is because the sensation you feel or the pain you feel is the same. They're very, very similar. When you're bottoming out, what happens is you're sort of you know, grinding into the bottom of your socket. You're not making the right amount of contact. You're falling too deep and putting pressure on nerve, bone, tissues, and it just does not feel pleasant you're not wearing enough socks. You need to add socks to bring yourself back up just a little bit and get your limbs situated just right. So a lot of people tend to think they're bottoming out and they start adding socks and realize they're not helping the problem. Chances are your limb was actually larger than you thought and you're only making it bigger yet. So sometimes if you feel like you're bottoming out and you're having pain, what it is you need to do is actually try removing a few layers of socks. Maybe you were wearing your leg too tight and hammocking yourself. So let me try and explain this um, a little more close up. I'll use my own leg as an example, try and give you an idea of what it is I mean by hammocking. Okay, so the first thing that I'd like to say is that when you're having a good fit on a great day and you feel like it's right where it needs to be, here's something to check. When taking your leg on or off, pay attention to the amount of resistance that you feel when sliding into your socket and when removing it. If you slide in really, really, really easily, there's a chance that you're shrunk a little bit and you need to add a sock. If you come back out really, really easily, confirms that. If you're fighting to get into the socket and it feels like you need to push your leg in there and it's squeezing you, you're probably wearing it too tight and maybe you need to lose some socks. So the idea is to pay attention for that sweet spot. When you've spent your day up and walking and it feels just right, how does it feel when your limb slides in and out of your socket? That amount of resistance is what you're looking for. If you can wrap your head around that, it's gonna make the whole sock management game much more easy. So, like I was talking about earlier, we all know what bottoming out is. On a typical day, I wear a five ply sock and a one ply sock. I leave the house with this on and I come back and this is the same combination I'm wearing. So if I was to go ahead and remove this five ply sock and I've only got one ply on, I slide into that socket very easily. If I stand up and bear weight, I'm going to fall right to the bottom of the socket and it's going to hurt. At this point, we know we need to add socks. So we're going to sock back up until we get that resistance we're familiar with, that feeling we know feels just right as you go into the socket. Then you can go ahead, take a walk and confirm you're right. Let's say I'm up and about, I'm having a bunch of pain down at the bottom of my limb, ow, I don't know what's going on. 
this is my normal uh, sock combination, but I don't know what's happening here. Feels like I'm kind of pushing to get my limb into the socket. Why is that? Well, I've been sitting around eating delicious meals all weekend, um, drinking a lot of uh, drinks, and haven't been so active. Why does it hurt? Why does it hurt? You know, I'm, I'm up three pounds. Add a sock. It's even harder going in, and the pain is still there. It's not because you've shrunk. It's because you've actually expanded a little, and you're thinking that that pain indicates bottoming out, but you're not. You're hammocking. This is where you need to back off socks. What I mean by hammocking is, is that as you insert your leg into your prosthetic device, you'll feel some resistance, and essentially it's going to cause a hammock type effect. It's going to squeeze you up here, preventing you from getting all the way to the bottom of your socket. So instead, you're hung up here like a hammock, and that pressure is pulling back on your tissue, on your muscles, and everything else, while the bone continues to travel downward. Now I hope that makes sense. Essentially, look at the skin on my arm. See how when I squeeze it, the skin stays, but my fist still goes downward. If you're wearing too many socks, that could be what's happening to you. You're getting hung up high in the socket and your limb is trying to drop down lower. Now the thing that's tricky is this feels just like bottoming out does. You're not hitting the bottom of your socket, but you're pulling tissue backwards, causing your bones to push down through the skin, which causes quite a bit of pain. So essentially, instead of you know falling all the way down, you're not, you're hanging up and trying to work your way down. So in that case, if you're having a lot of pain and you've been adding socks because you think you're bottoming out and it's not helping the pain, back off a few socks. Then try to down your leg again. See if that helped. So there you have it. Just a little explanation about bottoming out versus hammocking. We hope this helps you because they feel very similar, and a lot of times people aren't even aware of what hammocking is. Um, one of the best ways to really get to know your limb, in which way to go, in which direction, with your sock plies, is to keep a journal. Especially early on, this will really help you get an idea for um, what sort of sock combinations you're going to need from day to day. I myself, as a young amputee, literally, I kept a journal every day. I wrote down what my body weight was, what I ate that day, what my activity level was, and fluid intake for that day. Why did I do this? Because the next day, if I was having some issues, I could go back and say, oh look, yesterday I ate a lot of really salty foods, I wasn't very active, and I definitely didn't take in enough water. Having pain in my prosthesis. Maybe it's not because I'm bottoming out, it's because I'm actually a little more swollen and I'm retaining fluids and I'm hammocking myself. So keeping a journal for a little while will truly help you sort of wrap your head around your residual limb and what's going, in so going on inside that socket. So please keep that idea in mind. You could probably learn a lot from it. Again, this was a very quick little explanation of what sock management means, um, hammocking versus bottoming out. So again, thank you for tuning in. I hope that this has helped you out. Rush life.